Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm making an unboxing video of the Asus Zonar DX PCI E um, audio card. So I already had the um, the PCI uh, version of this which is the Zonar D1 um, however unfortunately because of my new motherboard um, the D1 doesn't fit uh, into my um, Asus Sabertooth Z77 and therefore I had to get the PCI Express one which is the Zonar DX. The main differences are basically the actual connection but also there's another thing that there's the power. So I'll get onto the card in just a second I'll show you the inner bits of it. And sorry if there's noise in the background, that's because of uh, university and everything. Um, so here you go, there's the um, connection, you've got a 3.5 millimeter connection there to a RCA. And that's a wire there which I'm probably never going to use. Here you've got a SPDIF um, connection for your um, optical cable which goes into there and that plugs into your uh, audio jack into the um, uh, Zonar. Here is the um, power cable which we're going to need. It's an old school power cable connector right there but we're going to need this connector because the PCIe Express one is this is the main difference between PCI and PCIe uh, PCIe um, apart from the actual jacks and configurations of speeds which I don't think will affect a um, sound card is the fact my PCIe DX needs a power it needs power to run whereas the PCIe um, PCI version didn't need one um, so that's one thing to bear in mind um, and here is a smaller connection I'll show you in comparison to the other one and here is the driver and this is the quick starter guide. So I'm quite used to this, the whole Asus thing with their crappy ass drivers as usual, their lack of support and their lack of professionalism. However, their products are very good. So, here we go. Right, well here's the driver disc, well we're not going to need that. Let me get onto the actual thing. So I'm just going to touch my PC to get rid of any static that I might have. Not to damage any uh, part of the card. And so here is the card itself. As you can see, it looks very nice indeed. Here's the um, connection to your PC. Um, and this is, uh, I'd say, this one, this is the front panel connection. I think this is an old, I think, uh, you connect it to your floppy or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And the back is for your power. So that's the, these are the two important ones, and I'll be connecting it to my Fractal R4 uh, titanium grey case, and I'll be showing you um, me putting it into my, um, me putting it into my uh, PC. So over here, as you can see, the, the connections, you've got back over there, hopefully you'll be able to see, you've got center, you've got side, you've got front, and you've got spdif out slash um, mic in. And so here is the difference between the two things I was talking about. It's hopefully I'll try and show you. Here you go. One is small, one is big. So it depends with um, your PC and how it looks like. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get ready to put it in the uh, put it into the PC. Right. So I'm back. Um, I had opened my PC just to check every single connection, everything. So first of all, here's the here's the Asus card. I'll take it out. So you guys can see, it's in the Asus, um, I've got the Asus uh, Sabertooth Z77 um, card. So first of all, you want to make sure that that is open, your little screw bit over there to get rid of this. So you want to open that and get it out. And uh, once you do that, I've got, uh, I had the dust covers on the Asus right there. So you want to get that out from the motherboard. And... Um, and so here is the card. So as you can see, I've got the front panel connection already in. It goes from the top, but I'll show you like so. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Let me try and zoom in. And so this goes from the top of my case in there. And this is the HD audio jack that usually goes into your motherboard. It goes somewhere around there on the motherboard. You can't really see it, it's just by the PSU. But um, that is the... Um, front panel audio jack. So I've got it in there already just because it was a pain uh, to get around but uh, anyway that's that. So you can see my system right there. So what you want to do is obviously install it like that. Make sure it's in and it just clicks into place. 
and obviously you want to tighten up the tighten up the Asus um, sound card to your case, as you can see over there. And um, what else you will have to do is to put in your power cable. Now the power cable goes in at the back, so I'm going to show you that now. Hopefully, again, you'll be able to see. Sorry if my hand gets in the way or anything like that, but uh, try to zoom in as much as possible. And so, what you want to do is just put this in, basically this this way, um, where the groove is basically on the thing, it's um, facing away from the card. So the groove that's pointing outwards, as in outside, goes into the card. There you go, hopefully you can see that. So it goes in like that. It's quite hard to get out, I have to say. So when you're putting it in, just bear that in mind. Right, so you want to make sure that it's in. Like that. You can see it doesn't come out very easily. It does seem quite wobbly, I have to say. And uh, this, you have to connect it to your power supply. So what I'm going to do now is zoom out. And you guys can see me des desperately trying to put in, <laughs> put it into my PC. So I'm going to get back a little bit. Open it up there. This type of connector has to connect to this. So I'm going to do that, power on the PC, and get back to you guys after that's done. Alright guys, in a bit. And remember, don't forget to screw in your card. Uh, as you see, I haven't screwed it in yet. I need to screw it in, but remember to screw it in before, uh, before you close your case. So I've just left it open at the moment just to give it a little bit of leeway whilst I play around with all of this, but uh, once it's done, I'll be able to do that. So in a bit guys. Right, so uh, now I'm going to install the Asus software, as you can see. Put it in the CD-ROM. Right, so as you guys can see, I am uh, installing the software that came with the CD. Uh, you'll just see in a little moment's time that I'll be explaining how um, I chose uh, to download the DX software as well online, and that didn't work. But basically, this one was from the CD. Uh, so as you can see, it asks you to restart your PC and whatnot, and uh, I go ahead and do all the necessary steps. So um, the software didn't work, and um, you will see in a while uh, as my PC boots up that um, that the DX um, had some problems, as in the Zone our software had some problems, um, and it was annoying because when I was hitting mute and um, uh, volume up and down uh, it should have been responding but it unfortunately didn't so as you can see over here everything seems to be basically locked up uh, I had to check that I was using the same thing uh, same uh, the right playback device but anyway hey guys um, right so after I uh, put in the card and uh, uh, try to install the drivers the Asus drivers would just not work I was about to give up and about to return the DX uh, from where I bought it however after doing some googling I found the Asus Zonar unified drivers and these are basically um, these are basically uh, several people which um, which thought to make some drivers and a better uh, interface for the um, Zonar utility. So here you can see there's uh, three different um, modes of installation. When you install it you have three choices. You've got normal, low DPC latency and C media audio panel. So what I've gone for is a C media audio panel which looks like this. It basically has pretty much all the same things as the Zonar um, Zonar thing, so there's nothing there's nothing exactly special over there, but it should be noted that there's some things which are missing, for example front panel audio, which can you can find a fix around that. However, I don't need it or want it, so I've actually this. Um, got rid of the cable um, on the front panel audio on my card because uh, there's no need, no longer need for it 
But anyway, what I wanted to say is the driver installation was a pain in the ass, and there's no surprise there with Aces being absolute monkeys when it comes to providing software for their good, good hardware. So the software installation, what I did is installed it from the CD, and, and it didn't work. Basically, you see when I'm muting and unmuting and volume up and down, basically that didn't work on, um, on, on what's it called, on the, uh, the DX's Zonar, Zonar, um, Zonar software, basically. Uh, so as you can see, as I'm raising down and up the volume with my mouse, it's working and you can see mutant coming on and off there. Basically, it wasn't working, um, and none of the things were working. Whenever I was doing changes uh, in the effects, none of it were working. So that was kind of crap. So anyway, that was that. When it came to um, looking online, I went to the Asus uh, website, um, like so. And I went and downloaded the latest driver for the DX. Um, I am on uh, Windows 7 64 bit. And um, I went ahead and tried to find uh, the drivers which were here, the latest drivers which were made in 2011, which is quite a while ago. But anyway, I downloaded that and had the same problem with that as well. So, long story short, Asus sucks uh, as usual with their softwares and their providing of softwares. And it was, um, if it wasn't for this unifying um, drivers uh, from Carved Inside. Uh, on Brainbit, I would have not uh, kept the card, I would return it and got some other card, God knows which one. But the card now works perfectly fine, the sound quality is great. Here you can see my little EQ that I've got, which I think just brings out uh, the highs and uh, little tones down some mids. I quite like that. I bring down the bass a little bit because I'm um, in uni holes and um, I don't like blazing out bass. And anyway, I've got the bass settings on my Logitech Z5500 anyway. So there we go. Right, well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed uh, this video, um, and I hope this will help you. I will link down in the description all of these things um, and some print screens and whatnot of my equalizer. All right, guys, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.